Welcome Emerald Lagasse. Welcome Emerald Live. Yeah. Hey folks, you know, I love the way they, uh, they cook in Italy. I just love Italian food. It's all about good ingredients, simple preparation, right? Especially from the rustic countryside of Italy. Oh, love that stuff. That bold flavors like garlic and peppers and red wine. So since I love Italian cooking, you know I love garlic, right? Tonight we're gonna do a little rustic Italian cooking. Oh, I'm so excited. Speaking about exciting, give it up for Doc Gibbs and the Emerald Live Band. Yeah. Hey, folks, open that bottle of Chianti because it's real and rustic Italian tonight, right here on Emerald Live. You ever heard of uh, Bagna Cotta? No. Well, it's this thing from northern Italy, like in the Piedmont region. And it's basically, in English, it means a hot bath. Wow. Or like it's a garlic dip. Right. Mm. We're going to make that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Sounds... you want to know what else is on the menu? Yeah, man. Okay. Show you what's on the menu tonight. Check it out. Beside the Bagna Cotta, what we're going to do, which is a garlic dip for vegetables. How about a risotto with sweet peppers? Yeah. Oh, yeah, babe. You know, uh, we call it pot roast. In Italy, they just call it good. <laughs> We're gonna do uh, a little beef braised in Barolo wine. We're gonna talk a little bit about Barolo as well. Oh, yeah. And a, uh, and a wonderful chocolate chestnut mousse that we're gonna do. So this bone carter, this olive oil you start with. You know what I wanna start with? I wanna tell you folks, uh, here at the Food Network, we have an amazing culinary team, just an amazing team, obviously. But you know what I think a lot of people don't realize is that we have a lot of interns or apprentices as well that come here and work six months. Sometimes they stay for a year. And um, hey, I've had a lot of them. I've been with the Food Network for a long time. And I got a new one today. You know Sal, of course. You know Sal back there in the kitchen, my man Sal. Uh, you can see him up there. And then I, uh, we have a new, a new guy, Tony, that I, I want to uh, welcome to the old uh, team as well. Yeah. So uh, here he is, there he is. A new, we got a new guy there, Tony. Yeah. Welcome. All right. So we start with olive oil, really good olive oil, okay? We bring in it, steeping it up in a saucepan, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to flavor that oil with garlic, lots of garlic, okay? Anchovy. Oh, yeah, babe. And then they slowly start adding a little bit of oil, a little bit at a time. I just add it all. <laughs> you know what I mean? But what we're going to do is we're going to keep an eye on it, and I'm going to just slowly start steeping this up, okay? When we come back, I'm going to show you what it looks like, and then an unbelievable risotto. Doc Gibbs in the Emerald Lab, man! <laughs> If you're just joining us, we're cooking real and rustic Italian tonight. And uh, here we go with the anchovy dip. I'm so excited. Here's how we're going to finish it. Just a little tiny bit of lemon juice. And you don't want 
it to boil or anything. You're just sort of fusing the oil. And then some crushed red pepper for a little heat. Now, generally we'll serve it in a little fondue dish or a little pot like this, a little... I like all that garlic and all that stuff in there, yeah. right? Yeah. And then generally what they serve, antipasti style, if you will, lots of fresh vegetables, fennel, asparagus, radishes, etc., artichokes, and then they dip it inside here. Of course, good country bread, especially Italian bread like this here, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, babe. And, uh, and then we just sort of dip it, and that's, uh, that's the first dish that we're going to do, real and rustic style, Italian style, right? All right. Now, I've said it many, many times before uh, about risotto. The, uh, the key to a good risotto is really being ready to make the risotto, because risotto, uh, it's all in a stirring. I mean, if it could be shrimp and artichoke, it could be beef and mushroom, it could be asparagus, it could be just cheese, right? But it's all in the stirring thing. So what we're going to do is start with a little olive oil, and we're going to make one with sweet peppers, okay? So we're going to start with some yellow and red sweet pepper, and then we're going to start with some onion as well, and we're going to season this, which is important with salt and pepper. Now, arborio rice. That's what the risotto is made with. Huh. I don't have any. <laughs> they, uh, the new guy must have forgot it on the wagon or something. I, I don't know. Maybe, uh, is there any shot, any chance we can get Tony to bring out the risotto? Yeah, I got you gotta it. have risotto, I mean, right? Any I chance? I got it, I got it. I mean, is there any chance at all, right? I'm in a tough bind here, it. folks, you know? Yeah, I got it. Goodness gracious. It would be nice if I had some risotto. I got it. Well, anyhow, so we're sauteing the peppers and the onions. I got it, yeah. And uh, having a really good time here on Emerald Live. I think the new guy's coming right now, I, I got think. It. I, I got it. Hey! Oh, goodness. I got it. Oh, goodness. Honey, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> How are you, man? Good to Thank see you. you. What? I brought the rice. I, I, I push it. I got the wooden spoon. You got a spoon, too. All right. Hey. How you doing? How's it going? Pretty good. Right. Pretty good. Great to be here. Stop by. What nice digs you have. Thank Boy, you. that's some kitchen back there. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks this for is, dropping this by. This is pretty and nice. Not bad, too. You know, we got a couple of hundred people in the audience. Yeah. They're excited Hello, that everybody. you're here. Nice to see you. Thank, you. Thank you so much. How's the show going? So far, so good. How about that? Congrats, I love it. It's like being live, isn't it cool? I'm coming, I'm coming on a couple of days. Yeah, Monday, you know. you're on that's Monday, right. Monday. That's we're right, we're gonna go there. Line. Coming on my show, that's bam! Right. That's okay. right. No, no, that's Sorry. all right. <laughs> all right, so I you wanna do this risotto together? Sure. All right, all right here we go. So, as I said, it's all in the stir, and I'm gonna let Tony stir a little bit. Now that the peppers mm, have uh, come out a little good. bit, you get that the real sweet flavors and the onions out, now we're gonna add some garlic in there, all right? You know. This is my kind of place. Yeah. They applaud for garlic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of time we're going to take off there, just a little bit. Okay. And uh, we'll save the butter for last. Now, what I like to do before we add the rice, uh, any liquid, excuse me, is I like to add the risotto in here because as Tony's going to start stirring the risotto, it's sort of the oil that we started with and those flavors start coating the rice. You don't make the rice first. You're going to put it right in here. Yeah, right put it right in there. And see what happens now, now is when you got to get the stopwatch out because it's about 18 minutes. Could be 20, but about 18 minutes. So, okay. now that we got the, uh, the kernels, I say, co coated a little bit with the oil, we're going to add a little white wine in here. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. See, they get excited. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And then... This is how it is at home. They that's, applaud for the food. Yeah, exactly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slowly start adding chicken broth, a little at a time, and you keep stirring it. No okay? applause for chicken broth? No, 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 not yet, not yet. <laughs> but how about Tony Danza, <laughs> huh? Thank you. All right.
right, so. That's good. Now that we got the rice, we got the stock. When Tony and I come back, another notch! <laughs> That Tony Danza was doing, man. Let me tell you. Tony Danza's in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. Man, that was some good moves. How's the risotto going? The risotto going? is doing really good. You see how the, the starch now is breaking? Yes. Right? And it's, uh, you I keep, see the starch is yep, breaking. You keep adding a little liquid at a time. I always like broken starch. Broken starch is always good. Do you know uh, what today is? What's today? Today is National Bread Day. It is. Actually, National Homemade Bread Day. And, you know, it's a big day for me because I love bread. That's it. Oh, it was here. It's gone. It's gone. It was gone. It was the some, audience knows. It was some good bread. That's, like that's that. the thing about the show here, you know. You make a dish, it's gone. Boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now what we're going to do is uh, let's let's get it a little more exciting, okay? Right, it's going to cook a little. Just, oh, yeah. Gonna put no, you steer that. I thought right. we would put a little. Uh, I wasn't going to do this. But then when you came, I said, look. I got my honor. Exactly. My prosciutto. Honor. Prosciutto. So we're going to put a little bit of prosciutto in here. And a little green onions. Oh, oh now, you love it. it's, it's exciting. It's very exciting. exciting. Now the thing is, folks, I'm going to show you a little Beautiful. trick of how I like to finish the risotto. Two ingredients, magical. Butter, cheese. Oh, yeah. However, if you like that little whiny sort of taste in your risotto. Which I do. Which, okay. <laughs> See, we added the wine in the beginning, but what happens is that as Tony and I are cooking this thing, 18 minutes, the evaporation starts happening, right? Concentration and flavors, the evaporation, the wine is kind of gone. We got the grapiness in there, but the wine's gone. Now, if you want that taste and you want to fortify is the word, fortify. <laughs> you fortify. That's fortified. Yep. I'm starting to get home. I'm, I'm, I'm salivating here. What's going on? What's happening? Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to taste it right now first before we finish it. Uh -huh. I'll give you the honors, my oh, friend. Thank you so much. And that's when you say, now, does it need more salt? Does it need no, more it pepper? Need, no, I mean, maybe a little pepper. Okay. Maybe a little pepper. See? And then we're going to add some fresh cracked pepper in here. We got enough salt. We're okay. In good shape. Good salt. Okay. Oh, boy. There's the pepper. Can I have one more taste? Sure. <laughs> Why are you doing that? I'm going to go get the cheese. Okay. Don't eat it all. I'll try. Mmm. Oh, good. Wow. It's really good. All right, so here's the magical way to finish this now. We're going to lower the heat down just a, a notch, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to add some soft butter, unsalted. Okay. Unsalted soft butter in here. And watch how it's going to sort of give it a little sheen right now. It's sheeny. You see, see, see the sheen? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean it. So what are you cooking tonight? Um, I don't know what I want to make tonight. I have to cook tonight, I think. Um, I cooked over the weekend. You know, I cook on the weekends a lot. I love know? that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. So what did you cook? I made sauce. I made meatballs. Yeah. I made, uh, I got some, so I got some, you know, I'm, I'm near Balducci, so they have all those crazy sausages. Yep. Ba uh, basil and basilico and provolone sausage. They yeah. Wow. Just delicious. <laughs> And I, and I made a sauce. I made some meatballs out of uh, pork and, uh, and chopped meat. And, uh, you know, I love it. Mom's recipe. Or, I love it. Or dad's recipe, anyway. <laughs> all right. Now we got the butter in there. Okay. We finish it with the cheese. And that's what's going to bring it all together. Okay? How do we mix that up? Mix yeah. that up. You're going to see it all come together. Hey, Mark, take a picture of this. Send it to Italy. Tell them this is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> New spoon. Okay. Now we'll let you taste again and see if we need any more adjustments. I think it should be like right on the money. On the money. On the money. All right. So wow. All yeah. right. So now. Oh, it's great. Now everybody gets to taste some of this? Yeah, well, we're going to get you some right here to start. Well, yeah, I was going to hope me first. Yep. I was, yep. I was doing. 
<laughs> we're going to get you started first. And uh, we're going to do this right here. A little more cheese on top. Okay? Yeah. Folks, it should be the, the proper way. Uh, and, and, and I'll tell you this. A lot of folks in Italy, you, you eat from, uh, from the edges into the center, right? Right. That, that's what keeps it hot. Keeps it warm that way. Well, in my house, we eat so fast, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just get out of the way, Emeril. <laughs> there you go, my friend. Thank you right. so much. Mm. You know, I, I think I like coming here. Hey, it's not anytime big. you want. We're, we're fairly in the neighborhood, mm. as they say, you know? We are in the neighborhood, yep. that's true. So, now, what we're going to do before I start the next... Uh, the next dish and tell you about that. A mm. little more cheese. I'm so glad now, I didn't eat lunch. You can hold things down for a second, right? Sure. Yeah, I'm Just gonna... hold things down well, for uh, a second. I'll be so, right back. So today, folks, what we're going to make is... Uh, <laughs> while Emeril is serving... Look at that. Oh. How about that? My son. That's my son. That's my son and my daughter-in-law. Look at him. Oh, look. You happy, Mark? Look, I'm happy. <laughs> That's a happy boy. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. <laughs> we've got some wine coming, too. All right, we're going to turn this off. We're going to get ready to do the uh, studio audience. Now, one of the things, while well, Tony's having a little risotto. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm in your way. You know. No, 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 you're not in my way. Oh, that's good. This uh, Italian-style, if you will, pot roast is basically what we would refer it to. But to them, it's beef braised in Barolo. Oh, and I love Barolo. Oh, oh Barolo's my favorite. <laughs> you know why? My favorite one. I'll tell you why you like it. It really is considered, Barolo, in the Piemonte region, the king of wines. And the grape that they use to make Barolo is Nebbiolo. Mm. And it has a very, very special taste to make the wine. And then, if you ever buy Italian wine and you might see this little red seal on top of it, or a little sticker... That means it's been, been controlled by the government. They, they control it, and uh, when they approve something, they put that little sticker on the, on the wine bottle. It's very, very interesting. Anyhow, so this simple piece of meat, we went to the butcher, and that's exactly what we bought. We just bought like a pot roast. Now, there's a few things besides salt and pepper that you can do to this. One of the things that I think goes really, really well with Barolo is garlic. <laughs> Wow. Right? Yeah. Pretty neat, huh? Pretty neat. I'm telling you, this, this, this is a nice kitchen. <laughs> this is really nice. Yeah, yeah. So what I do, I take... You may want to try this this Sunday. Yeah, I want to try this. Let's I make a few little notches like that. Thanks, Tony. Uh -huh. You know, as many as you want, and wherever you want. And then I take whole garlic cloves, and I just pop them in there like that. Really? Yeah. I think we... Yeah, so we take it oh. and press it down in there real good. Get in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if it don't, it's a good way to get rid of frustrations, yeah. too, you know? Then, once we got that in there, we're going to salt it and pepper it. We'll turn it over. Thanks. Tell me like you're a sous yep. chef. You know? Yeah, that's right. And now what we're going to do, Tony and I, we're going to put some olive oil. And we're going to stop braising it. But I got to tell you, folks... I'm so excited that Tony Danza is in the house. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm happy to be here, man. Tony Danza. Hey, don't even think about touching that dial. When we come back, hey, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Bob Gibbs. Hey, ladies, what do you got? Thousand requests. Doc Gibbs in the end of the line. Come here. Oh, that is. Wow. There you go. So, well, what's that thing you got up there? What we have here is a percussion controller. A, a what? Percussion controller. You can't Drum afford controls. that. Well, doing your show, man, you make it possible. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, how does that work? No, 
Oh, yeah. there was a voice coming out of there. The voice, oh, I put the voice in there. I sampled myself, put yeah. it in there, and then went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Technology. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. You know, if you've, uh, I'm sure everybody's watched the Tony Danza show. If not, you gotta watch it. But what I love about the show, besides that he's a great guy, is they really like cook. I mean, it's like a daytime cooking, like extravaganza. And. Oh, extravaganza. Oh, yeah, 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 right, exactly. <laughs> extravaganza. Sorry. No, no, no. But he got a, he's got an oven cam. Ah, that's right. He's got an oven cam. Have you seen that thing? He's got like an oven cam in there. Now he's got a refrigerator cam. You know? Hey, he's got the drum thing. I got an oven cam. What do you want from me? <laughs> Good to have you, pal. Thank you so much. All right, much, so now to what we're going to do... We braise the beef. We browned it up. All the sides. You can see that garlic. Thank you. Oh, Look at the garlic in there, right? Oh, yeah. Pop them back in here. Now what we're going to do... Stay. Let me get, get, you a wooden, get you a wooden spoon. I've got some pancetta. Aha. Uh -huh. And what we're going to do... Tony and I, we're just going to do a little dice of this pancetta. Try to get it as lean as you can. That would be Italian bacon, right? Right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some right in here. Okay? Going to stir it around a little bit in that oil. Scraping down yeah, those... Yeah, those yeah. are all those good yum-yums yeah, down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Italian yum-yums. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add onions. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just eat this. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to add celery. Oh, maybe I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> And some carrot. I'm sure I'm going to wait now. <laughs> oh, all yeah. right, now. I got all the yum yums up. I'm here, tell you. You're looking thirsty. Ah, salute. Salute. <laughs> okay, now what we're going to do, this is a little unusual for herbs and spices that we're going to put in here, but beside the regular salt, and I'm going to get you the pepper milk, Tom. Okay. Here you go. As much as you like. I like a lot of pepper. Me too. I got a thing with pepper. Yeah. I, I'm with you. And then uh, you don't want to add the garlic too soon. But what we're going to do now, once we cook that about four or five minutes, okay? Then what we're going to do now is we're going to add the garlic. And then we're going to add the spices. A little unusual. First, but it's rustic Italian, right? We're going to add rosemary. Uh -huh. All right, just throw it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now here's a couple of unusual things. Clove. Uh-huh. Clove gives it a little spice, okay? And with the spice and the Barolo, oh, it's going to be fantastic. So we're going to add a little of that. I'm salivating again. I don't yeah. know what it is. <laughs> and a cinnamon stick, okay? Think about it. Cinnamon, you got the, well, you'll see. So we're going to add that and some bay leaves in there. All right. It's going to smell now, a little bit like Thanksgiving here a yeah. little bit, isn't it? Here you go. Thanks. Then we're going to add the Barolo oh, in there. Oh, oh okay. that's okay. <laughs> How much? All of it. That's it. All of it. Don't get excited. Yeah, I was good at I was good at That's my kind of cooking. <laughs> so you bring that Barolo up now, because that's it, that's what it is. Beef in Barolo sauce. Now we're going to add some beef stock. Man, oh man, a chef. Wow. Yep. Now, Tom, what we're going to do is we're going to take the beef now, put it back inside, okay? So it should cover like that. Right. All right? Should be covered. You want to bring it up to a boil. Then we're going to adjust like medium-low. We're going to cover it. We're going to cook it for three hours really slow like that. In three hours, this uh -oh. is what it looks like. Check this out. Oh, baby. See, it's like almost... It's falling apart. Right, Here exactly. Me... Okay? Now. Well, I'll get this out of the way for Yeah. You. Now, here's what you do, folks. Thanks. Tom. You got it. What we do now, folks, is this. You want to reduce the Barolo sauce down with all the vegetables. Some folks, you know, they want it strained. Mm -hmm. Some folks, hey, it's rustic. Right. You know, look, 
You're when right. can you eat beef braised in Barolo with Tony Danza and floss at the same time? You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on. So what Coming we up, yeah. yeah, yeah. So what we do after I reduced it, folks, and I'm strained sorry. it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just dancing. No, no, no. That's a good move you got. That was good, yeah. Watch watch how refined you can finish it with a little butter, whole butter too, if you like. But watch this. You put that right over that. Now here's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. So you can see, look, how how tender this thing is here. Oh baby. And that's the end. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's just the end. Cut it like that. With roasted here, take a piece of yeah, that. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. yeah. So you get a piece of that thing going on like that, right? Oh wow. Uh, huh? Oh. 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 Yo, that's great. That, and you know, so many times you make a a, a, a beef and it doesn't. It, it feels. This is the way it's supposed to. Right. I, I'm excited. And I'm sorry. Lot, yeah. That's okay. We're excited about your show. Here's the thing. Like Tony was just saying, folks. Right. It takes time. Sometimes you know you just can't turn the dial on and five minutes you got a dish. This is one of those weekend things. You got time, you want to slowly cook it on the stove. The house smells up with all these wonderful flavors. Hey, we got some noodles too, right? We put some noodles with that. Oh. Hey, when we come back, we're going to show you another real and rustic Italian dish. Stay with us. Thank you. Doc Gibbs and the Emma Live Band. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. Pretty good. And I got my cooking pal in the house, Tony Danzer. Hi. Thank you. So good to be here. Good to have you, baby. Nice to be here. So I asked him, I said, uh, do you do munch with chestnuts? And basically, we had them when the meal was over. We had roasted chestnuts. We never really cooked with them. But and I have a feeling we're, we're, we're about going to. to. Yes, yeah, yeah, we're going to. We're gonna make. Uh, we're gonna make. A, uh, this influence is uh, also from the Piedmont area. Uh, with chestnuts, we're gonna make a chocolate chestnut mousse. Mm. Yeah. Look! Look at the smiles on and those faces. You, and you know what? Ready. I think I've, I've come to the conclusion. Um, and speaking with the chestnut police before the show. Really? Yes. That I've a lot talk of, to them off time. Yeah. yeah. Off times, yes. We got all kinds of police here. Uh -huh. Lobster police. Lobster police. Oh, yeah. We got shrimp police. All kinds of police. Mm. You know, that food show thing going that on. could be a shrimp police right there. He, he's, a, he's, a, he's a cute little guy, shrimp huh? Shrimp policeman. He is. <laughs> What's his name? Hi, Evan. How old are you? One and a half. Four, four, and, a half. four well, and a half. Four and a half. Yeah, it's only, only when you're a kid you do half. <laughs> <laughs> Rotten you, kid. <laughs> you gave up that half stuff? Half, oh, please. <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> all right, so here's what, we, here's I what we're going to do. I got socks older than that kid. Can you come back tomorrow? <laughs> you, know, you know you're doing well. You know you're doing well when the drummer laughs. You know that's big. Okay. <laughs> so look, here's the chestnuts. Now, there's a few ways you can buy them. You can buy them in a jar. If that's the way you want to go, ah. this time of the year, fresh chestnuts. I, 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 what I was saying about the chestnut police, I've come to the conclusion that people are afraid of these things. And I guess I'll tell you my first chestnut experience many what? years ago. What happened? Then? Well, I put them on a sheet pan, Tony. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, nobody told me what to do with them. And so I just put them in the oven. And so they're roasting in the oven, roasting, because that's what they said, you got to roast the chestnuts. Then all of a sudden I hear, pop, <laughs> pop. And I'm like, what the heck yeah, is yeah, that? you got to make a little cut in yeah. them. See, I didn't know yeah, that. Gonna... Well, the oven was completely and, like and, a mess. And, and thank God you didn't have an oven cam, because yeah, well, they no, would have no, blown up the, the, the cam, oven. The oven cam would have been, 
It would have been Gonzo. No, no. Gonzo. So, <clears throat> just what Tony just said, you got to make a little pierce in him. So you got you to gotta just get a knife and you sort of just kind of pierce him like that before you roast him or before you blanch him because you don't only just have to roast him. You can just, in lightly salted water, you can blanch him like you're going to do pasta and you cook them and they start to float and they get tender that way too. So there's an option. But then when you're done with them, you peel... The skin comes off then. Right. Nice and easy. You see, like I'm doing right here. Well, nice and, and easy. It's still it's Well, it's still a pain in the Yeah, yeah. You, you know, but, but it's worth it. But it is worth, worth it. it. It is worth it. I, I go through the trouble of doing this. I like to make a chestnut dressing at least once or twice a year, especially when they're out. And then this chocolate chestnut mousse. Mm. I mean, where do you see this thing? Oh yeah. All right. All right. So here we go. This is so much fun. Ever. Once we, once we get the chestnuts, like Tony and I, you know, we've got Santos and Sal and, you know, the new guy back there. <laughs> Me. Me. So we uh, got them peeled, and we want to roast them for, after that again for about 10 minutes, okay? And that's what we got right here, Tony. We got right. them. And it kind of dries them out a little bit because mm -hmm. they can get a little wet. Yeah, they're moist. They, they right. actually are, yeah. Now, you could eat them just like that and have a ball. You can roast them and let them peel their own chestnuts, you know? What's wrong with that? Have a peel your own chestnut party, right? Hey, or I we can touching make... that one. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take them in a food processor. Okay. And then, if you don't mind, you could add that sugar in there for me. Certainly. Well, maybe. Humidity. That's Bad hair day All today. Right, there it is, okay. So now what we're going to do, Tom, we're going to take that and we're going to make this paste a little bit. A little sugar, the chestnuts, and we're going to make like sort of this chestnut paste. Mm. Now, that, uh, that's kind of looking pasty to me. That looks like a brother. All right, let's check it out. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, okay. All right, so now we got that. Then, we got a little water bath here. You don't want to uh, have it too, too, too hot. And then what we're going to do is we melt some chocolate. The chocolate gets melted. Can you use dark chocolate? I'm yeah. just wondering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can yeah. use dark. You can I'm use into, milk I'm chocolate. I'm into dark chocolate yeah, yeah. right now, yeah. You know, there's a, there's a great chocolate uh, from Hawaii, too. But it comes in little pistols like that, a little Hawaiian vintage chocolate. There's people over there from Hawaii. I know. Too, oh, they came all the way to see, to see yeah. us. Mm -hmm. You know that? I'm just trying to remember. You like dark, dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. What yeah. are you doing with it? i eaten it too much, probably. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> Right before bed, you know. Okay. okay. All right. So now what we do? Look, we we got we added a little bit of water. You see how it's coming back? It got thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now the heat is coming back up. People absolutely flip out when they work with chocolate. They add a liquid in there, and then it like gets all hot again and ugly. Relax. Nobody's don't have to call nine one one. It's okay. All right. Now here's what we're gonna do. We wish this in now. Right. Now we're gonna add one egg at a time. One egg at a time. All right. Let's see here. One. One egg yolk at a time. And then we separated the eggs. Uh -oh. I just added in there the heck uh, of it. I, I was trying to be gentle. I know, with, I know. Be gentle with my yolk. Yep. All right. All right, now, how about a little frangelica? A little frangelica. Say yeah. the word, say yeah. word. That's good. Yeah. I like them. Have you ever had an cello? Yeah, of course. Oh, oh I sure. love that. I love and a little rocks. That's when you get in trouble, you know, you start drinking those drinks after you're finished yeah, and everything no, no, else. No, you no, say, no. oh, let me try some of those yeah, other things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's when it... And I, uh... Yep. Okay, now, what we're going to do is this. We got the chocolate mixture. I've never seen so many... Tools, I've... gadgets? It's, it's unbelievable. We're gadget kings here. It's like 16 different kinds of... Exactly. Well, anytime you want to borrow something, I'm gonna you come just by you come borrow. on by. All right. All right, so we got the egg whites. You're going to add the sugar to that, and we're going to start whisking that. Is that hard, too? Okay. I got it. Yeah, no, that's good. No, add it all. All right. Yep. Get it dissolved in there, and then we're going to start making the egg whites. Now, we're going to take the chestnut mixture, and we're going to have to take turns on this, on the egg white thing. We're going to add the chestnut mixture inside of the chocolate mixture. We're going to incorporate that. When we come back, mm. Tony and I, we're going to take the egg whites and show you what we're going to do to that, to the chocolate mixture. Oh, yeah. Stick around. We'll be right back. Thank you.
Sanders is in the house, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Oh. You all right? Oh, I got it. Look. Unbelievable. Mm. Your hand's about ready to fall oh, off, right? Yeah. Somebody take this and put it over there. <laughs> Done. Hey, look. Tony. Yeah, Danzig. look. I got, got a my real name. official jacket here, huh? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. All right, so let's okay. do this uh, chocolate uh, mousse all right. with chestnuts. So I did all that. Okay, we're we ready. got that. Mousse. Now we're going to take the chestnuts. That goes into the chocolate mixture. Okay. Okay? Yeah. You want to switch around? Yeah. yeah. Now, once that gets all incorporated, as you can see what Tony's doing, it's thick. Lots and lots of chestnuts. Okay? Oh, yeah. Now what we do is we let that cool. We're going to take that off, off the fire now, and we're just going to let this cool. I even sometimes, what I'll do is I'll put a little plastic over it, like such. Okay? Now we got the chocolate chestnut mixture. Right. The egg whites. The egg the whites. Sugar. That we're, now we got to go and that do I, some cream. That I whipped. Like yeah, cream. that you whipped. That whipped. Yeah. We got to whip again. I'm whipping. All right, so we got... Whip it good. I got to get... Whip it good. I got to get some I love cream. it. He's got 18,000 whisks, every size. It's like... Cream. Cream. Ah, there's a nice little bottle, too. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a fancy show here. Yeah. we got a big budget on this show. It could have come in a carton. Maybe yeah, I, exactly. Yeah. Right. Look, I'm ready to whip. All right, so, all right, we're going to take turns, you and uh, I. Yeah, cause... because this is going to be a while. And we all, uh, but do it tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tomorrow's show, we're going to finish the moose. <laughs> Well, maybe we'll just go on Tony's show in the morning. Yeah, well, Monday, Monday, <laughs> Monday, we'll finish the moose on my show. How are we doing here? You're doing great. Here, let me help. You go ahead. I have a help. feeling you have a, a technique of your own. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> it's tough work. I tell you the truth, I, I got to actually like this way better. <laughs> so, uh, what are you cooking later? Um, I keep asking you that no, because I'm wondering if I, I should stop on. by. Oh, you want to stop by? If you stop by, we'll cook, I okay, promise. All right. Okay. This is tough work here. All right, my turn. All right, go ahead. All right. <laughs> I know. All right, I know. We need a machine. Yeah, you know, by the way, you get think, another whisk. You think in this, uh, in this kitchen you might have a machine. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, one, of the, one of them handheld things. Okay, let's try it twice. You get that side. I'll get this side. Hey, you know what? You know what? What? It's working. It is working. It's working here. All right, we're in the home stretch. I think we are. You know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. What is it? See, when you're whipping cream, you can't do this. You got to kind of get some air in it. Uh-huh. See, like that? I just didn't want to get them people. I know. Well, he's a nice guy. Don't worry. Maybe the girls. How's that? Okay. <laughs> All right. So now what we're going to do... Hey, I know, man. Come on. Oh. I don't have to go to the gym. I'm so excited. I know. Are we there yet? We're there. We're there. I think we're there. I think you need another minute. Another minute? Here, let me get in there. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the technique. You know, Look, my... it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. All right. You ready to finish ready. this? All right, here, we're going on back over here. All right, so, now what we're going to do is this. We're going to take the chocolate mixture, Tone. Yes, sir. And we're going to add those incredible whites that you whisked. Right, those, yeah. right in here. The ones I did, Yeah, yes. yeah, the ones that you did. I have a little thing Go here. ahead, scrape it out. Scrape. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, babe. <laughs> it's scraped, it's scraped. Okay, okay now we've got to stop folding that in. You know... Fold. What is fold? What do you mean fold? What okay, is... let me show you. Because I, I never... Look, that's folding? This is stirring? Fold. 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 See, fold. You, you, a lot of people didn't know that. but uh... That's why I'm glad you're here. Yeah, let me tell so you right it. now. I don't know what you do without me. Yeah. <laughs> so, we'll just stir. We're yeah. folding. We're folding, We're folding in. And it should get all completely incorporated like this. Yeah. See, and, and then what they do when they make this, particularly, you know, the grandma... And then they'll call the kids in. They just the oh, oh yeah, they just yeah. put a big, put a big couple of spoons in here. You think we're folded enough? I think yeah. Well yeah. yeah. Okay, let's let's go over here. All right, I'm sorry. You know no, you're not in the way here. Let's. What do you need? <sighs> Look at that. All right. Now comes the best part.
I want to thank the awesome Tony Danza for coming by on the ride. Hey, salute. Salute. Delicious. Chocolate. Chestnut. Moose. And you can go on that foodnetwork.com and make sure you watch Tony's show, okay? Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, I'm Emma Lagasse. See you next time. Yeah.